Prescott Van Meyer here, sommelier from home. You may notice a different kitchen situation here. Don't wanna get into the details right now, but let's just keep it between us. Today's episode, Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor. It's a malt liquor that's fine. I've been told that the best way to enjoy Mickey's is in a paper bag. So we brought that today. We'll see maybe inside the bag and outside the bag if there's a difference. It does feel a little bit more portable now, keeping in about a 10th percent of the coldness. The grip is a little bit easier, you know? But for now, we're gonna take it out of the bag so we can be as critical as possible. All right, looking at the bottle here, we got a little, got a little bug on here. Not totally sure what kind of insect that is. It's only got two arms, so it's either been tortured or it was born that way. I don't know if it's a hornet or a mosquito. So it's 40 ounces, you know, the classic 40. So Mickey's nose, don't mess with a good thing. So I noticed that the bottle is green. Uh, the beverage might be green too. I don't know, we'll find out. But that apparently protects it from UV lights. I had a buddy who used to drink these all the time, Troy, <laughs> got himself in a little bit of a gambling situation, a little bit of trouble. He definitely doesn't have internet access where he is, so. I'll write you a letter, Troy. Been meaning to visit, buddy. Hopefully you got those little Debbie cakes. I hear those go a long way where you're at. Well, let's uh, give it an open and a smell. Ah, frothy coming up. A little bit of a head there. Very yeasty. Very similar to a lot of other malt beverages out there. Ooh. A little bit of banana. A little bit of banana nutmeg, something going on there. What are you doing there, Mickey's? That's crazy. It smells like a barroom brawl that spills out in the parking lot in broad daylight. A little bit like what bowling shoes smell like after they've been spritzed. What is that stuff they spray anyways? Is it Mickey's? Might be. Well, let's give it a taste. Hopefully it won't make me want to smash it on the floor. Not a lot of flavor going on there. Very, very mild. This could be Oldie, this could be Schlitz, this could be PBR, could be a lot of things. Well, it is not green. Sure tastes green. Fine, yeah, it's fine. If you want a malt liquor, this one's fine. You wanna drink it at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday? Fine. You want your taste buds to hate you? Fine. Want the bare minimum of flavor? Fine. Want your college friends to judge you as they see you walking down the street with Mickey's? Fine. If not, that's what the bag's for. Feeling that darkness in your soul because your wife left you? It's fine. I already feel like I've had a cigarette just drinking this. Your butt in there? Nope, nothing in there. Definitely a cool cigarette. K-O-O-L, the brand cool. And now let's taste it inside the bag. Well, there's no difference in flavor, but I definitely feel more stealthy, like a spy. Certainly less embarrassed about what I'm drinking. Let's remove the bag, continue the review. Who would be drinking this? People with really big plans. The people who talk about their really big plans, but don't actually do them. Impulsive people who just grab the first thing that they get their hands on. You can pair it with stale bread that you need to toast to make it edible, but really, probably it's a standalone. It is 40 ounces. I mean, it's already kind of a meal, you know? It's like bread in liquid form that'll get you plastered. For my rating, I'm giving it 40 points for 40 ounces, but taking away 23 points for its complete lack of taste. That gives it 17. However, if you drink it in the bag, you can add five points for a total of 22. 